Hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. In the last one, we must have done something correct because we wound up at this boss fight. Uh, we didn't walk north for the full three days, but for some reason, maybe we did. Maybe I was just... Did we walk? That wasn't... I mean, was that three days? It didn't seem like it. It seemed like we walked sideways a lot longer. Um... Yeah, I'm still not sure if I missed a gene, by the way. Oh, wait, I think there's a, I think there's, um, a gene in the, uh, the place that we can teleport to possibly, um... It, that I mentioned at the end of the last one. Maybe that's where the last gene is. I'm pretty sure there's like a secret hidden enemy that's like hard to kill, but gives a fuckload of something, experience, probably. Okay, so, um... I mean, force form has been working, but... Like, should I try... I mean, I feel like I should try something else, too, man. Should I try something totally different instead of just force? Because I feel like using just focus, focus, um... Aura is, like, overpowered, you know? I, I kind of just don't want to rely on that the whole rest of the game. But then again, if it's a boss fight, and we're already... I walked this far into the desert, I don't, I don't want to... You know what? I am going to do it, because this whole time we've been walking through the desert, I didn't know that there was going to be a boss fight. I thought we were just going to walk through the desert. Uh, I did not save the, that entire walk through the desert, so we ain't going to fuck around. Let's go ahead and just, and just do this. Should I give defense to... It's going to be 8 per turn, so I can last, what, what, 20 turns? It should be enough, right? Alright. Let's just get him more uh, defense. Uh, hmm. What, I'm assuming I can't, uh, oh yeah, I can transfer my, oh man, Pico's got a decent amount of AP, too. Raise user's intelligence. I'm not going to be using anything with intelligence, I don't think. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, uh, Pico's skills are not that good. I keep changing my party members, so um, so putting skills on, like, putting the good skills on people, like, wouldn't work. I haven't used any skill ink this entire playthrough, but uh, if I were to try to, like, put all the good skills on the people I'm going to use, like, I would just have to change them back. I wonder if I should try poison. Let's uh, try it, since uh, Pico's not going to be doing much else th uh, in this fight. Besides, he's probably going to be on heal duty. Uh... Fucking Gar, dude. Does Gar learn any, uh, like, attack or any kind of anything besides these four, I wonder? He hasn't learned any of this other shit. He got these from, um, from the Honduras guy or whatever the fuck his name is. The, oh, the priest dude. I guess that's who I had on him. I couldn't remember, uh, who, who he ha which master he had in the last episode. I think that was the one he had. Did, did Gar only have one? Did I only put one master on Gar? And then the current one? I don't know. Okay, that hit wasn't too bad. We can uh, we can deal with that. And 91, okay, that's not a lot, but it's better than like 30. Man, that would have been really nice if that would have worked. Uh, okay, I don't think I have anything that can uh, strengthen anybody, though. Uh, okay, focus. We got one focus on. Man, should I try Venom Breath a few more times, I wonder? Pico's intelligence good. Should I actually try uh, Mind Sword? We'll just see how much it uh, how much it does. Okay, and you're on Vitamin on yourself. Okay, that just did nothing. Okay, I think you can. Uh, can you learn that skill? You, we got it from Durandal, I think. Oh man, zero. All right, definitely not gonna be doing that. I wonder if Pico is supposed to be, like, a physical, uh, character. Or maybe he's just, like, the, like, the pliable one. Kind of like a, kind of like our Geno, where he, his attack or magic could be good. I guess he hasn't learned any, uh, attack magic, so maybe not. Uh... Okay, dude hasn't used any magic, uh, yet, so... I don't know, let's just whack, see how much we do. This might end up being a really boring fight. If I'm just going to focus, focus, Aura, attack, attack, and then heal. Oh, shit. And he's getting pumped up, too. Oh, man, did he make a different noise that time? No, I think he makes that noise all the time. I think I was just talking the other times I didn't notice. Man, the fucking dude's got a lot of, um... Okay, I focused twice, right? All right, so here comes... Here comes the damage, baby! Uh, okay, we're good on HP, so let's just whack... Yeah, dude's got, uh, let's see how much we do, by the way. 1440, holy shit! Um, 
Yeah, he's got a lot of, like, wrinkles in his, um... Like, around his mouth, but his gums are showing. Oh, man, we're all fucking confused. Actually, is Pico confused? Yes, he is. Everybody's confused. That ain't good. I'm, I'm surprised that dude doesn't have sharp teeth, considering he uh, appears to be a predator of some sort. He's, like, attacking us. Uh, why doesn't he have, like, sharp predator teeth? Man, still did 273. That's still pretty good. I mean, I guess, I mean, I don't know. I guess there are herbivores that have horns, but then uh, have flat teeth. Actually, he has, like, rounded teeth. Okay, um... What should I do with Pico? Pico's uh, the only one... Oh, wait, no, Gar's uh, good, too. Should I just use a Panacea to, uh, to get Dude back? I did buy a couple for some reason. I don't remember if I did that on camera or not. Oh, damn, son. It was a strong hit. I don't think that... I think that uh, that was with the with the reduced um, attack strength. I think uh, just Tom's is really strong, and Pico's defense is probably still really weak. That's probably why that did so much. All right, we regained sanity, yay. Okay, so let's uh, focus, and then y'all are going to be on uh, uh, vitamin duty. Okay, so that's one focus. We got one focus in. One focus has been completed. Is that the one that confuses us, by the way? Being confused is really shitty in this fight, by the way. Oh shit, I focused, so I wonder if uh, Tom doing, uh, doing like, attacking would, uh, would do, like, extra damage. Also, I don't know if that's gonna, um, did that reset the focus? Or does he still have a focus? Let's test it. I'm not sure if uh, if it'll work. Because if I get confused again, I won't ever know. Well, let's just uh, let's just test this. Okay, Vitamin. Pretty sure Pico has more HP than Gar. Gar is catching up, though. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, oh wait, when I said, uh, when I said 20 turns, I forgot that I was gonna be using 20 every couple of turns, derp. Actually, you know what, let's start, um, let's start transferring. I'm not sure if that's, um, I mean, that might be a better use of, uh, oh damn, we got him, cool. That might, that might have been a better use of, uh, man, I think, was Peagle close to a level? Alright, uh, HP, AP, power defense, not super great, but he got, did get two more agility. We got a power food, cool. I'm not sure if that would have been worth it to give up all of his magic to, uh, to Tom instead of uh, having dude attack. Or, you know, instead of Pico attacking, but we didn't have to find out. The heat must have been too much for her. Who can blame her? Having to fight that monster after walking for so many days. What? She didn't fight shit. It's like you're so damn hot. Why y'all wearing all those fucking clothes and shit? Jeez. At least take the like take the legging parts off or the stockings or whatever the hell she's wearing. Take that off. I'm sorry, Tom. We're so close. Are we? Are we close? We won't be able to go any further with her in that condition. I disagree. Oh, this is the part we're going to kill the rack there, right? What should we do, Tom? Are they going to pull some bullshit? We're like, oh, the rack has uh, has something in its flesh that will just happens to be able to cure her. Ooh, um. Or is that just a slow um? Sorry, I don't want to slow you down like this. Then don't. Oh, it won't even let me uh, save. I was actually going to save, man. It's fucking instructions, man. And fucking suck my nuts. Uh, no, I've you've done enough instructions. Go fuck yourselves. Is Nina okay? Not exactly in great shit myself either, but but I'm not a total puss like Nina. Uh, pew. He looks worried. Alrighty. How bad is she, the princess? Yeah, she needs to be dicked down. Pronto, stat. Uh, Dr. Tom's got just what she needs. Right. And we were so close, too. 
I suppose... We could just use the Rakta and start over. I mean, we know the way by now, right? Uh... It ain't her fault. Maybe we're just not supposed to make it. Uh... uh won't be able to move until you take care of Nina. I was looking for the fucking do the Rakta, yo. Rakta's strong, sturdy, and able to live in the desert. They can take anyone lost back to base camp. The Rakta's have another talent as well. Here we go. They're able to withstand a, a penis from Tom. Actually, it looks like he's got a boner from the like the angle. Doesn't it look like it looks like Tom's got like a oops, not like that. It looks like Tom's got like a boner going right into the Rakta booty. Uh, strong, sturdy, able to live in the fucking day. Okay. They have another talent. What is your other talent? Is, uh, is the game going to give me a clue? I mean, the game has to give us a clue, right? Oh, wait. Did, uh, did Gar move over? I think Gar moved over. Maybe Gar will tell me. Can't move Nina while she's in such bad condition. Nope. Uh... Oh, fuck. I meant to talk to Nina one more time. Is that supposed to be, like, a slow um? Did I say that already? Okay, so I guess I just, I, like... Hey, her okay, yeah. So it's, like, hinting that something's going on. You're supposed to know to kill it. The game didn't tell you that you were supposed to kill it. The meat of a rock that has water and other nutrients that can... resuscitate a person suffering from heat stroke. How was how did I know that? Who knew that? And who told Tom that? I have many questions, and why are you flashing? You got the rack to meet. So you killed the rack to, huh? You just gotta throw us all under the bus to save one person. Uh we won't be able to get back now. Yeah, thanks for being a real dickhole and not consulting any of us before, like, sealing all of our fucking fates, you fucking... Man, what a dick move. Tom's a fucking dick. I'm impressed, Tom. I didn't think you had it in you. Just like, oh, I just made this decision for all of us that, we're, that we can't go back. And I killed the person that could get us back to save one person. Holy shit, that is super fucking not well thought out. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll make it. We're not gonna die in a place like this. Weren't you the one that just said maybe we weren't supposed to make it? <laughs> Not as long as you're around, at least. Yeah. Someone in the comments was like, why don't we just turn into a dragon and fly over? It's like, well, I, uh, well, because, well, you'll notice that, um, whenever Tom turns into a dragon, he gets that, like, that weird shell around him, like, that weird, like, black energy, and then you can't actually see the transformation. That's because, uh, I think we're, like, we're actually just changing into, like, a dragon costume. And then if we had to, um, if, if we were expected to fly, uh, then our ruse would be, uh, would be foiled. With the sacrifice of the Rakta's life, Tom is able to save Nina's. Yeah, what a dick move. Hey, this life is more important than that life. Alright, so I guess the game's taken over. We made it, I guess. Hoping to weaken Nina, the party makes their way to the Oasis. So, if I would have followed, if I would have walked straight to the thing, would that have led me astray, I wonder? I don't know. Oh my gosh, we have music! Oh, music, I'm so happy! Oh man, boy. I guess that's the whole idea, right? To make the desert so big that you're just super fucking, like, relieved to, like, be back in a town. Oh, in! It's so beautiful! Oh, man. Be at calm. Okay, let's turn around and go back if everyone's gonna talk to us like that. Fuck that. Your lady friend is caring... is caring for by my wife? Okay, I think that one's just a mistranslation. Maybe the first part was too, I don't know. Do the people around here just talk fucked up? Until you are being fully rested. I think it is. I think they just talk differently. We want you to stay and having our good hospitality. I want you to fucking yourself. So are they gonna be like, hey, you're the first people to ever uh, cross the desert? It's like, well then how did you know that there were other people on, in the world? Are you sure you should be up? It's alright, I'm fine now. 
I'm done being a fucking weak ass, pussy ass, vagina ass, slowing ass, everyone ass down. Uh, little whiny, little crying, passing out bitch. Uh, yeah, that kind of <laughs> that kind of strung on for a while. It's like, how do I bring this one home? Uh, I'm sorry, I worried everyone so much. Well, if you if you really didn't want to worry us, you should have just like toughed it out, kiddo. What is Tom and everyone else doing? Uh, we're all talking smack about how you almost got us killed. Uh, they're over there. Talking to the chief. Uh -uh. About where we're headed. Uh, wait, whoa, what's going on? Why is that? Why is it just going out of the frame? That's fucking weird. <laughs> it's very slowly. Oh, they're doing a transition thing. Okay, that's kind of clever. I see what they did there. They just haven't ever done that before. That's why I didn't know what was going on. I am regrettable. But I know not of this that you seek. Honorable fa- ah. How do we know that he's honorable? We just fucking met him. Do you know of any ruins or something similar nearby? Ruins, it is you are. Looking for? Then we are having. Yay! To the north, over the hill. There is being a place very old that we are calling Shur Shan. Oh shit, is that the final uh, place? It is the ruins of very, very old in city. We should go check it out, hmm? We gotta check out the fairy village, too. I was gonna do that at the beginning of the last episode when I started this play sesh. Hey, what up, cutie? You've done so much for us. Thank you for everything. But, uh, there wasn't a fairy, uh, there wasn't a, a circle of flowers or whatever to, uh, to check, and I wasn't gonna go all the way back to the factory, so I was like, fuck that. Since the des desert gives us so little, we share what we have with each other. Assuming that was the girl on the dock, uh, saying that, right? Nina's up and awake. She says she's fine. Ah, so this is meaning that you are leaving then, yes? Thank you so much for all you've done for us, Fa'a. Uh. This supposed to be like father, but they're just like Fa'a, uh. like uh, like how a child would say it when you can't when they can't like pronounce it. It is being no bother. I am hoping that you find soon that what you are seeking. Please choose three party members. Okay. Uh, should I stick with uh, Gar and uh, Pico for a little while longer? Man, they're actually almost caught up to Ray, but yeah, Nina and Momo are actually are have been with us for. I used them for a good part of the game. They're a couple levels up ahead of everybody else. Uh, yeah, still stuck with Tom. I wonder, do we have to? Do we have to use Tom the entire game? I'm starting to think we do. I remember when in uh, Chrono Trigger you had to use Tom for the first what like three fourths of the game I think or something like that, and uh, it was for long. It was for so long that when you reach the point where you don't have to use them, well, there's a point where you're forced to not use them. Wink, wink. I'm not going to spoil that. But um, I mean, I guess I technically could. I mean, I, what's the what are the rules with like spoilers? Like if if the game is, I mean, the game came out in '95. That's 22 years ago, almost 23. It's almost uh, 2018. Is it okay to just spoil shit for games that are, like, more than, like, 20 years old? Is that considered normal? Uh, who says nothing can live in the desert? Look at us, we're alive, aren't we? Well, who said that no one can live in the desert? Nobody said that, since you're not aware of anybody else. Since nobody's ever crossed it. Uh, I don't think there's anything that could kill my wife. Wow, too zenny. Uh, I guess I didn't kill her, I guess, I guess he's right. Good thing she's not the final boss, right? Uh, feel free to take one of my rectors with you when you head out. Oh shit, more desert? He's gonna give us a Rakta? That's probably kind of valuable. The ruins, there's nothing there anyway. Why don't you stay here and play with us? Uh, if you climb that hill, you can see the, the thing. Uh, is there gonna be a shop? Shop, man? The best part of coming to town is uh, checking out the new shit at the shop, yo. Aha. Oh man, might just be items though. Oh well, we can uh, stock back up on uh, healing herbs, yay. But uh, didn't use that many vitamins. Uh, 
It's intelligent. Uh, should I buy one of these? Uh, just for, um... If I ever use a mat... Oh, actually, I already have one equipped. Oh, wait, I think I found one. I think I just... Did I just put it on Pico? I put it on somebody, I think. This shit really isn't that good. Yeah, your store sucks, sir. Once long ago, I went out into the desert on a trip. Let me tell you about what happened when... Oh, shit. Oh, these are gonna be our clues. I was thinking this, um... That, uh, did I find the life armor on purpose, or was it, like, hidden? I think I said that in the last episode. Um, that, uh, there would be s uh, some person that would be like, Hey, do this to go here. Uh, when I was coming back from the factory, I got turned around and went west when I should have gone east. I turned back after about three nights. I bet the nice outfit I lost is buried, uh, under the sands by now. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I got. I got that without even realizing it. I thought that they were going to say that, like, that was the, like, the dude was wearing it when he died. Uh, this one? I left the Oasis headed for a place called the Factory. So people, so people can cross back and forth, right? I thought they said nobody ever crossed the desert. If nobody ever crossed the desert coming to here, then how did anyone ever cross going away from there? Because then the people that were on the other side of the desert would know that someone crossed it, so then they would know that it is crossable. Uh, call the factory. I walked south for about a night and got lost. Headed towards the factory, so that's just south, right? So he just walked south for one day. Ended up heading west. Well, how do you, if you were lost, then how did you know which direction you were going? To tell me. After about four nights, I realized my mistake. By that time, I lost something really important. Okay. Probably not going to do that. That's probably another hidden item. I mean, I don't know. I've spent enough time in the desert, man. I don't want to go back in there, man. Yeah, fudge that. That's the desert out there. Sure you got everything you need? Oh, that's the desert out there? You mean that big fucking desert? That's the desert? Boy. That's such a, such a death grip on fucking reality. Golly. Alright. It's, uh... It's only 30 Zany. Let's just... Let's just stay in the real inn, now we get to save an inn in the same screen. I guess it doesn't matter, I could've just camped, but whatever. We'll just, like, roleplay and be like, well, we just wanted to, uh, to stay in an actual inn, like in a bed. Even though those beds look very uncomfortable. They just have, like, a pillow just painted on the bed. If I went to an inn, or if I, an inn, if I went to, like, a hotel or something, and there was just, like, a pillow, like, drawn onto the bed, I would be not fucking happy. Uh, okay. Uh, what do you have to say? Do you need any water before going into the desert? Uh, yes. Okay, from the water jug, okay. So I didn't just take it from the actual water source? Okay, I'm probably not gonna go- I mean, come on, man. I really just don't want to go back into the desert. I mean, I got one of the things, man, that's pretty good, right? Wait, well, okay, I gotta remember, the, um... Wait, why are we... What is this lead? Oh, it's not... Okay, I thought it was gonna go right back to the desert. Yeah, this is the place that I mentioned. Okay, let's fucking... Wait, I did just save, didn't I? I was just about to say, why didn't that it let me save? But I think it did, actually. I'm just a dumb... I'm just gonna do it again anyway. Or I'm just gonna double check. I mean, I was on this. I was on the first uh, save file of this memory card. Yeah. Okay. It should just be like one or two minutes from that one. I just want to be absolutely fucking sure. I'm sure you guys understand. I just don't want to be sure. I, I, I want to be HIV positive, like in that episode of South Park. I fucking love that episode. There's a lot of episodes. I I don't know. I fucking love South Park a lot. Why not just share? It? We're HIV positive. Uh, they just. The dude said that a bunch of times. Alright, uh, I'm not sure what this is. Come on, man. Final Gene, man. That'd be nice to get that. It'd be nice to uh, unlock Laydon. Layden? As uh, our final master. And see what the uh, what the dealio is with that. To see if we want to give that to somebody. It is nice not having... Uh, wait, are these guys super weak, Sauce? Okay, they're decently weak. Hopefully we can kill them. Maybe not in this round, but the next round should go down. Oh shit, especially not now. Well, I don't think Pico would have been able to finish him. It probably would have been close. Oh well. He died before he even did anything. It's fine. No money! Boo! 
Okay, we gotta check, uh, check for hidden jams. Come on, man, there's gotta be a gene here, right? Uh, please? Okay, I'm pretty sure there is a teleporter here, right? Oh, we have to, uh, have to do a thing with this. Oh, shit, there's the gene. Okay, so what I have to do... Oh, shit. I never went to this place because I knew it was, um... I thought it was going to be blocked somehow. But I was supposed to come here... Shit, did I F myself? I can't go back. I have to go from the other direction. I have to come from... I have to... I have to use the teleporter and then just walk across, get the gene, and then, like, that's... And then, like, the ladder is purposefully, like, halfway blocked off so that you know... That that's a movable block. Shit, did the game, like, expect me to do that? Like, am I... I'm not fucking... How would I... Actually, how would I destroy that now that I think about it? I didn't think so. <laughs> Come on, Gar. Do something. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. There's a ladder on this side, too. Oh, thank freaking gosh, dude. If that ladder wouldn't have been there... Radiant Sheen. All right, cool. Yeah, if that ladder would not have been there... Holy shit, I would have had to go all the way back around the desert to uh, to come from this teleporter and then walk across it and then go all the way back around the desert again. Holy nutsack. Actually, let me just activate it once to make sure that it works. Actually, this might have worked the whole time. I didn't know that that box blocking it was going to be what prevented us from, uh, from coming back here. Boy, whoever put that block there is a real dickhead. Uh, do I have to put in the coordinates or whatever? Uh, oh, container, yeah, yeah, yard, yeah, I just never went here, alright. Yeah, I thought that something would, like, just, like, block, I thought something would, like, lock us from, lock us out from going here. I thought we were gonna have to, like, unlock it, I thought we were gonna have to come from this side to, like, fix the computer, or, like, have Momo, like, activate the computer or something. Or, I guess Honey is the one that act actually activated it. To where I thought that um, that that would that we would have to activate it from this side. I didn't know that we could actually have, that we could have actually gotten that gene prior. Whatever, we got it, we got it, and I didn't have to uh, do any extra traveling. That was nice of them. Yeah, what a real dickhead. Whoever put that box there is just like dooming a lot of people to just die in the desert. <laughs> like, well, I really want to get over there, but I can't. Uh, I guess you could just jump down from the box if it were real. They should, I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel like they should have come up with some better kind of barrier. Wisdom fruit. Hey, that's really good. Just from a tank bot, too, nonetheless. Didn't even have to try hard for it. But yeah, I mean, come on. A box? Like, oh, we don't want to jump down a box, so let's, like, put our fucking lives at risk. Oh, let's check out the, um... Let's go to the, uh... Blah, 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 the colony. And, uh, check out, uh... I guess we'd be going to drag whatchamacallit. Is that the place with the, uh, with the new master? Let's check out the new master. Oh shit, we need to run from this fight. I'm pretty sure that's the dude. He, he's, um, maybe he doesn't kill you, but, um, he, I'm pretty sure he, like, heals all his HP every turn. You gotta find out a way to do a lot of damage in one turn. I'm not sure if he's actually dangerous. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he's just gonna, like, one-shot your party. Okay. Or if it's just that the fight just goes on forever because you can't uh, you can't physically kill him. I'm not sure. I mean, unless you find the way to kill him, you know. Uh, yeah, drag near. That's the town that has the. Uh, oh yeah, because it had the dragons in it, and then that's the place that had laid on or whatever. All right, and here we go. Yeah, we'll check this shit out, and then uh, man, I guess the next. I'm pretty sure the next area is the final area. So our journey may be coming to an end. I'm pretty sure the last episode is, or the last area is going to take several episodes. And then the fo the boss fight is going to be long as shit too. Hmm? Who awakens me from my rest? The person standing right the fuck in front of you. Who do you think? You, you're Tom. So the time has finally come. I am the ancient dragon god laid on. Laid in. Uh, I know what it is that you must do. You seek my assistance? I think so. Very well then. 
Uh, I see that you have awoken the power that lies within you. You are ready to receive uh, what I can give you. Oh shit, okay, so the question is, I guess, who do I give to him? I think I have to give someone to him to check his stats. Uh, I guess there's no harm done if I switch and then switch back, I suppose. Let's give you to Gar. But I present Gar with a portion of my power. Uh, seek your power? No, fuck off. Alright. Alright, so before we end the episode, let's go ahead and check the, uh, the fairy village. And, uh, and check the stats of, uh, of Leyden to see if we want to give that to somebody. I'm pretty sure this one has, like, two plus sixes, but it has two minus sixes, so we'll, uh, see what those are. Hey, there's a thing right here, too. That's very nice. But they set, uh, one flower jam right here. Uh, actually, while we're in this menu, we can, can we look at our gene, at least? Uh, oh. I keep forgetting. I haven't done this enough times. I haven't gone to this one. What did I get? Radiance? Uh, grants radiant property. Is that, like, holy? I forgot that you can't, uh, see the, uh, you can't see the, um, the MP cost either. Or see what it looks like. Alright, come on. I'm pretty sure I did not, I'm trying to think if, I don't remember if I used late on or not, actually. I think I maybe did for a little while. I guess you would only use it for a little while, because you don't have it for very long. Oh yeah, we can learn new skills, so I should definitely give late on to somebody. Oh, it has two, uh... Okay, so it has two negative sixes, but it has, um, it, it has a bunch of, uh, positives. Is, uh, should I give, uh, I don't want to give it to Gar. Gar is, we need Gar to have, uh, some HPs, yo. Man, HP and AP, fucking. Your shit's, you're gonna be gaining, like, zero per level. But then, I mean, maybe Laidon has really good skills. Maybe I should give him to somebody. Also gotta check uh, Mary Leap's skills. I'm pretty sure somebody has probably mastered him by now. I think I've had Mary Leap on Tom for a long time. Oh shit, so it's a good thing I didn't give late on to Tom, because then that would have uh, possibly cancelled the levels I put it on Mary Leap. I get, got it for Mary Leap. I guess um, with Pico being a lower level, he's gained probably the levels faster. So then I guess that wouldn't have been the end of the world, because I could have just had to make sure to keep Mary Leap on Pico, and we still could have gained it uh, relatively easily. Um, so I guess off camera, I guess I'll decide who to give that to. I can't, I, I don't feel like deciding right now. Man, I'm also going to have to start thinking about who do I want my final party to be. It'd be nice if, uh, this game actually had it where, like, each party member got some, uh, time in the sun for the final fight, for the final boss or whatever. Kind of like what they did in Final Fantasy VI, that was nice. That way, if you have, like, super, like, gimped characters that you didn't use the whole game, you would actually have to, like, pay for it a little bit. But there doesn't seem to be any, like, consequence. You just pick your three, and then, uh, you don't have to worry about it. Chirp, got any merchandise? You go, Chirp. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I just gotta decide who to use, and then I can just ignore everybody else, and that's kinda... Uh, yes, I know what to do. I mean, I don't know, that kinda sucks that everyone else just has to get left and not get used. Okay, so we're at 99 food, but then I got three new people, so is, is the... The food consumption of these last three people gonna, uh, gonna make me start to lose money? I'm not sh Or food, I mean? I'm not sure. Alright, so what do we get? Um, the light blue is the, is the smarty, thinky one, right? Uh, what's a good one to do with this one? I think if you have Gift... I think Gift is the one that you would want to eventually get. Where, um... If you have, like, three people on it, you can actually get, like, a really good item if you wait. Like, the longer you wait, the better of an item you'll get. But if you wait for, like, the longest amount of time, you actually get, like, a really good thing, I think. Explorer? What the fuck? What's the difference between Explorer and Gift? You just get a thing either way. Who gives a shit if they give it to you or if they go out and look for it and then give it to you? We'll buy unusual items. That's where you could sell, um... You could sell the shit that says looks valuable for more money that's not really worth it. I haven't, I've been, I'm pretty sure I've been selling this shit as soon as I got it, I think. There might have been some shit I forgot, but it's probably not worth it to set it. Uh, casino, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's just for fun. Copy. Make a copy of an item. Hmm. Are there any items I would want a copy of? Can you make a copy of fucking anything? 
make a copy of that life armor would be nice. I don't know if that's possible, though. I don't know. Uh, also, when this says uh, tending crops, does that mean that now that everything's cleared, are they tending crops now? Am I getting food from that? Am I getting food from my uh, labor ability, I wonder? My green bar? Uh, not entirely sure. Also, how do I know when I'm out of jobs to, dis to discover? We do have a lot. Is that all the jobs? I mean, the, the selection menu or whatever is the same size as the as the other menu. It's like it's fitting in. I don't know if that means that it's done. Uh, I don't know. Uh, how do I know if everybody already has the best shit? Let's see what everybody has, though, by the way. Uh, I can't think of any more new jobs. Okay, so that means we're probably good to take them off. I'll probably do a lot of this stuff off camera. Welcome, we've got nothing but the best. We'll see about that. You let me be the judge of that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure um, each each shop only gets one screen full of shit. I could be wrong. Royal Dagger? I, already I think I already have one of those. Yeah, let's check the other ones. The only problem is, is that uh, the person with the gift, you don't ever know... If it's um, if it's the if they've reached the best gift or not, you would have to save and then check. I guess some of this stuff is maybe better. No, I mean I can maybe put this on somebody, lose a little bit of defense for some power, and I guess this one I could actually straight up buy. I don't know if there's something else I'm gonna want to spend the money on though. But they'll just go, hi, here's your present, and then you're like, no, I didn't want that, I wanted to keep waiting, but I wasn't sure, I had to check to see if it was the best item or not. Uh, nothing but the best. Uh, well, your accessories suck. I guess I could buy a bunch of these. But then again, I don't know if I'm gonna need the money for anything else. I don't know, I'll buy a couple, I guess. That way, uh, if I do buy more later, I don't have to, like, spend all the money at once. It's kind of like what um, the smart thing to do at Christmas is. Sometimes people would be like, Oh, I don't like the holidays, because you gotta... Oh, shit, I'm getting the thing. Life shard. I guess that's... I think that's, um, like, that's on the better end of shit, but still not the best. Hmm, what should I make? Uh... I think about the best. Okay. Okay, so this shop is still having something be worked on. So I guess that's why I had two people there. Okay, and there's our blank room, alright. But they're like, oh, I gotta fart out $300 uh, for to on Christmas presents. I might have said this before, but then it's like, or you can just do the smart thing and just not wait till December to do all your shopping. Like, if you just, what I normally do is around September, I just start not, I start not actively shopping, but I just start keeping my eyes open. Just keep your eyes open. And anything you think you see that someone would like, or anything you see that you think someone would like, just spend like 5 or 10 or 15 or 20 bucks on it. And just what I have, I just have a box that I just put all the presents in. Every time I buy a thing, just put it in the box. And then by the time December comes around, you got a big old box full of shit. You just wrap it up. And then you didn't, uh, you didn't take a big giant financial hit because you've been spreading out the money over a long period of time. So that you don't have to uh, put yourself in the damn poorhouse uh, in December, and then recover from it with it, you know, and then have to struggle until you get your taxes back, and then you finally pay it back. <laughs> okay, so in the next one, uh, I got some off-camera shit to do. I wonder if I should grind. Actually, I think the enemies inside will um, will give a lot of experience. It's the enemies in the final area have to give a lot of experience, right? So uh, I'll maybe do some stuff with uh, with the masters, and uh, I'll check Mary Leap off camera as well. And uh, maybe I'll oh I probably need to farm for some black porgies. I'll have to remember to do that too. And uh, yeah, so we'll meet back and we'll start tackling this. Uh, I, I'm I'm like 99% sure this is going to be the final area, that place I couldn't pronounce. So we'll do that next time. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.